Hello and welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Josh from the Freedom Theory and today we're reviewing the WeBoost Connect RV65. Stay tuned. This is the latest cellular booster for RVs that is made by WeBoost. We're a big fan of the WeBoost products. We use them a lot. We originally started off with their Drive 4GX for vehicles. That was before they were making a dedicated product for RVs. So we would actually take the little vehicle antenna and we would slap it up on the roof. And, you know, that helped us a lot. We used that for a couple of years. Then they made the Drive 4GX for RVs, which is also a great product. We reviewed that before. But now at the end of April, they released the Connect RV65, which is their most powerful booster yet for RVs. So we're going to be setting it up. We're going to be testing it out. We're in a perfect location to do it. We're outside the Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. We're boondocking out on BLM land, and we've got a really weak cell phone signal. Signal keeps going out. Sometimes we're losing it all together, so this is the perfect location to test. So we're going to set it up and see how it does. Now, there are a couple of things that make the Connect RV65 different than the WeBoost Drive 4G XRV. Now, the Drive 4G XRV is still on the market. It's an excellent product. It certainly has its uses. The main one being that you can use it while your RV is moving down the road, which is certainly a plus. But the Connect RV65 is a much more powerful booster that's meant to be used when the RV is stationary. One of the things that makes it different is that it has a telescoping pole that goes 25 feet up in the air. You put the antenna on that, and then that gives you line of sight over other RVs, over even small buildings, trees, things of that nature. So you can get a really clear shot at a tower. The other difference is that it has a directional antenna instead of omnidirectional. Now with the Drive 4G XRV, you could use a directional antenna, but most people use the omnidirectional that came with it. The advantage of a directional antenna is that you can point it at a specific tower, which certainly has its uses. I'm going to talk about those a little bit later in this clip. But also with a directional antenna, not only can you swing it this way, but you can also move it up and down to hit cell towers that are up on mountains. So there's pros and cons with everything. The one con would be that this one takes a little bit longer to set up, and I guess the second con would be that you can't use it while you're moving the RV. But on the flip side, it's a much more powerful booster. The inside antenna also will cover a much greater area. They claim that it will cover the entire inside of the RV, which we're certainly going to check out here in a few minutes. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get this set up and give it a go. So we're here on the outside of the RV, and I want to show you guys what we're going to try to do. We'll test this setup out. So I think that we're going to put the pole actually on our bedroom slide, which normally you would put it towards the back. But there's a reason we're going to try this, and I'll explain why in a second. But it'll go up here. Well, actually, I'll go ahead and explain it now. Why not? There needs to be a lot of distance between the inside antenna and the outside antenna to keep there from being oscillation and interference between the frequencies. So we're going to put the outside antenna up here towards the front of the RV. And this comes with 30 feet of RG6 coax. So let's go to the back of the RV. Back here, I already have RG6 that I was using for the Drive 4GX RV. And there's a hole drilled through the wall already. So we're going to go ahead and reuse that hole. And you can see what I've been doing is I've been taking the RG6 and I've just been Velcroing it to the ladder. That actually stays really well. So what my goal is, is to have minimal setup and tear down, you know, when we get into a location or we're getting ready to move the RV. So I think this will be a good setup. We'll have the pole up there for the outside antenna. Over here, we'll have the RG6. And then going into this back cabinet, we will have the booster and the inside antenna. So let's take a look at that. We're on the inside of the RV and the cable is coming right through this wall up here into this cabinet. So we're going to put the booster there. We're going to try to put the inside antenna right back here. That's going to interfere with its signal a little bit, but with it facing this way, it's going to be able to hit the entire RV, including where we have our media center set up with our cell boosters and stuff. I apologize for the condition of my desk. Things are a little messy right now, but 
we want to be able to get signal to all of this. One other thing I wanted to mention is that it does come with a flat cable. This is so you don't have to drill a hole through your wall. What you can do is just use this flat cable and run it through a slide so that you can uh, get the RG6 in through a slide or through a door, anything like that, um, without drilling a hole. But in my case, I've already got a hole drilled. So hopefully you guys can hear me over the wind. I got this set up yesterday. I'm loving it, but we had bad weather come through, so I'm going to be finishing the review when it passes. But we've got high winds coming through thunderstorms. So I wanted to show you guys that this doesn't have to be extended all of the way. What I did is when the weather came through, I collapsed it down most of the way, but it's still working as a booster, still doing an excellent job. It hasn't been raised. I've left it in the same position where it's just barely over the RV. Now, right now the booster is off and you can see the signal is really weak. I'm standing in the back of RV, uh, the back of the RV in the rear living area. So you can see right now it's around 115 dB, which is a very weak signal. If we go over just a few steps, we might lose signal altogether. It's been going in and out. So this is what it's like without the booster. So we're standing here with the booster on now. This is the same spot and you can see that it's gone up to 92 dB. That's incredible. And that's without the booster elevated all the way. I'm really, really impressed by this thing. This type of signal is what you normally get when you're right by a cell tower. And the difference is night and day just in terms of speed and in terms of everything else. I'm so incredibly impressed with this product. I'm even more impressed than I thought that I would be, which is saying something because I'm a big fan of WeBoost products. But this is just exceptional. If you're going to be traveling anywhere that your RV is going to be stationary for more than a day or two, if you're going to be out way out in the woods or if you need cell phone service for work or anything like that, this is a unit to get. I'm absolutely amazed by how well that it's doing. One thing that I did want to add is I told you guys that I would talk about why you might want a directional antenna instead of omnidirectional. I said that that might be if you wanted to point at different towers. So let me explain that for a second. A lot of times you can get what's called network congestion where you've just got too many people that are on a particular tower and it just overloads it kind of like a highway system having too many people on it and you get a traffic jam. So when that happens, if you have multiple towers in the area, you can actually use a directional antenna to point at a different tower where the signal might be weaker, but the actual speed and performance might be better because that tower isn't as overloaded. You actually have that happen a lot in tourist areas, so that's something Another reason that you may want to have a directional antenna. I do want to give a little bit of shameless self-promotion here. I'm writing a book about all of this. I'm a network engineer and I'm writing a book about finding internet on the road. So that's something that I'm really excited about, really excited to share with you guys. If you would like to be notified when the book is released and if you would like to get some preview chapters that I'll go ahead and release before the book is done just to give people a sample, go to thefreedomtheory.com slash subscribe. That's thefreedomtheory.com slash subscribe. And that will sign you up for our mailing list. We send a maximum email of once per week. We don't spam you. We never give away your information. This is just a way of us staying in touch with you and also giving you information on when the internet ebook will be coming out. So that's it for this review. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in purchasing this item, the link will be in the description box below. You can also go to thefreedomtheory.com slash weboost. That's thefreedomtheory.com forward slash weboost. And you can get the link there as well as some more information about the product. So thank you guys again for watching. Please leave us a comment down below. We love hearing from you. Ask us any questions that you have. Leave us comments. We always love chatting with you guys and hearing from you. Finally, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends.